What's up, Blueberries? My name is Alton Hilt, and welcome to another episode of Learning Dust. Today's episode, we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to take a, f a look at some footage of me losing, and losing pretty badly. This was my first attempt at recording the Heavy Assault episode, and it just went horribly wrong. And most of the reason it went wrong was because of things I did. So let's get started. As you can see here, I was looking for a team but I never go back to it, so I'm fighting alone the whole time. Now here's a situation I should have predicted. As soon as I spawned in, I heard the heavy machine gun nearby, and I saw in the kill feed that it was a prototype version. But what did I do? Instead of approaching the situation tactically using cover, I Leroy Jenkins right into the middle of it. So dying there was my fault, and because I didn't apply the right tactics. Um, so I come in here, I choose Alpha because it's somewhere between Delta and Bravo, and it's probably the location where the enemy is going to move next. So a little map reconnaissance, I've determined that I'm going to find a fight here, so I go looking for it. Now I still haven't gone back and joined a squad. Um, I've loaded it up, but I just never get around to it, so I'm fighting alone. Now I hear that shotgun, I try to take him out don't. Now I'm thinking, oh, okay, I can get him, but what do I do? I jump down where he can shoot me. I was using a splash damage sidearm, so I could have stood up where he couldn't shoot me and hit him with splash damage until he was dead, but I didn't. Once again, I just charged right. I was so eager for a kill that I charged right around the corner and put myself in range of his shotgun, and he won. So I come back in here at Alpha, and I'm in a slightly different suit, and... I'm in trouble. I'm just surrounded. I don't even know where to shoot. Finally, it kind of sorts itself out. And so once again, dead. Now this time, by about this time, I should be thinking to myself, and I, and I kind of was, but these guys are running proto. I know the squad. I know some of the players. And I need to change my tactics. At this point, I was thinking, I need to, to get into a light suit or get an LEV and just start skirmishing, just hitting objectives, trying to be where the enemy's not, because I know that the enemy is, in this particular case, is going to mass. They're going to always be approaching objectives in force, and I need to be hitting them on the, the fringes, not head on. I don't have the, the gear for it, and so here's I'm just kind of testing out the ion pistol I didn't have never really used it much wanted to get a feel for it but I'm thinking that railgun oh he can't hit me boom once again just wasn't being really aware and cognizant of my surroundings I knew he was there I didn't really pay attention to where he was aiming and I should have seen him firing right in front of me but I was just too distracted so I'm coming in at alpha again now normally if I die on an objective two times I'm out and I can see here there's tanks there's dropships there's a lot of infantry moving towards this objective this is not a good place for me to spawn in but I do it anyway I'm I'm just so I wanted to get kills I wanted to get good engagements for the, the video and I didn't want to switch out of my heavy suit because I was trying to use it when the situation in my mind was pretty clear that I should have used a different set of tactics now here, while it's not a bad you know, situation to be in, one of the things you see is I don't focus fire on any one target. I'm switching targets just rapidly, just looking for any opportunity. And so I can't ever apply enough DPS to kill anything. I'm getting a lot of shots on target, but none of them are resulting in the deaths of those targets. Oh, and then right here was just the wrong time to try to reload. I should have switched back to my primary. I switched over to my secondary because uh, it's a way to stop the reload, but I never switched back, and switching back would have been better. So all I've seen in this match thus far is prototype gear. I should learn a lesson here. I need to come in somewhere else, but I don't. I just, I'm, I'm being stubborn here, and it's getting me killed a lot. And this is a pretty common in games. Like, you know, we're all a little prideful. We all want to think that we're the best. We all want to overcome the situations that we're placed against. We don't want to admit defeat. But sometimes, you know, feeding yourself to the enemy, it's a concept I learned while playing um, 
tower defense games like Dota and League of Legends. I got some buddies that are really into that, and so I joined them for a bit. And they, you know, they said one of the concepts in this game is don't feed the enemy, don't give the enemy opportunities to kill you because it ultimately results in the strong getting stronger and the weak getting weaker. And so I've tried to really apply that tactic here to Dust, and I've really failed in this particular match to do that, to not feed the enemy easy kills, to be hard to kill, to, to play to my strengths and not my enemy's strengths. So here I just should have ran. But I took the first round and I thought, oh, maybe it's because I'm up against a pillar. So I decided to try to duck into that pillar and it didn't work for me. Not too much you can do when the enemy chooses to drop an orbital on your head, but normally I run and at least give it a best, best effort to get out. So as you're looking at, at this gameplay, I hope you're trying to, to identify if there are things that I'm doing that you occasionally find yourself doing as well. Um, Right here, the enemy, I, I see they got the dropship. They've got some people up over here. Um, now, I'm starting to play a little bit smarter right during you know this section. I'm paying more attention. I'm trying to get at range. But I know there's some people up here. I can tell on my passive sensors now that they've got an uplink. I've got some backup in, in forms of these other the players but so we're gonna push it together and that's not a bad thing to do but notice most of them are pretty damaged and in pops a heavy I'm out of ammo or I was about to overheat so I switched my sidearm I'm not all that great I really do like the the scrambler pistol but more as a primary engaging or the weapon when I'm carrying a weapon that uh, does a lot of armor damage uh, oftentimes carry the the scrambler at pistol as a sidearm, and I'll initiate an attack with that scrambler pistol to damp down their shields. But I'm already using a shield damaging weapon, and what I really need is a sidearm that does damage to armor. And most of the time, if that's the if your playstyle is to engage with your primary, no matter what their shield or or uh, armor proficiency may be then the sidearm you're going to want is almost always a uh, armor-based, armor-damaging sidearm because usually when you switch out to it, they're in armor and you need to finish them You need to finish them up. So just know your, your playstyle. If that's how you use your sidearm as a switch to, oh crap, I'm out of my primary, I've already engaged this target with my, my primary and his shields are down, or usually down, then yeah, definitely go with an SMG or a, a pistol that deals damage to armor. But if you want to use it as like an opener to damage and reduce shields, then, um, and you have an armor damaging primary, that's not, not such a bad thing either. It just it depends on your playstyle. So right here, I've been searching for targets. I'm gonna go after this guy. Now, it looked like he was a scout. So it's not the best circumstance for me to be in. The scout's going to be hard for me to see. Pro could get the drop on me. I'm going to have to cover open ground. So it all just depends if he's a shotgun or if he's a light weapon scout as to whether I will be able to take him. Now it looks like he's hacked that turret. So at this point I I'm thinking he's on that turret. He's manning that turret and it's not just randomly firing out. Yeah, so he's shooting. Normally turrets don't engage... So I'm going to wait for this guy to pop out here. He takes a couple hits, he pops out, he's almost already dead, and a couple shots finishes him up. Now this guy knows, you can see, I saw there that he's trying to shoot me. So I'm trying to use the hill as cover, trying to prevent him from being able to shoot me. But I want to approach, oh, see the grenade throw was pretty poor. So right here's the dangerous part. I don't know if he's a shotgunner or not, but I have to get in close to avoid... Oh, and there he is. And it just so happens that I was able to get some distance on him and and take him out. So, one of the things that you know I said earlier I should have done in this match was when I noticed that the enemy was playing in Proto, that they were an organized squad. Now, I didn't actually check at the start of the match to see who was on the enemy team, to know what type of tactic I need to use. Um... 
I still don't have a squad of people to play with. So both downsides, both things that I should be doing, but I'm not. So I don't have the benefit of either. But I've learned a little bit that the enemy is coordinated. They're starting to make a push. You know, I should I should expect somebody to be on the point because of the number of uh, blueberries. But I see somebody's going for the hack. And I don't really pay attention to this guy here. I know I'm getting close to overheat, so I switch it out. And once again, just the Scrambler pistol as an armor finishing weapon, not the best of circumstances. So I'm gonna. It looks like I'm trying to come back in, but I'm not able to because I tried to switch out my weapons. So I'm gonna go to the only other point now. Once again, I have been entirely reactionary this entire match. I've just gone basically where the enemy has pushed me. I haven't been really proactive in looking for other ways to approach the battlefield. And this is pretty common when the enemy is dominant on the map. They're able to force most of the players to one or maybe two points. Just because most of us don't want to have to respawn at the MCC and reapproach the battlefield. It feels like a loss. It feels like a retreat. And so we're, we're going to spawn where ever we have a point even if that point is surrounded or full of enemies for whatever reason most of us just don't want to have to admit that we needed to retreat so uh, I know that the enemy is going to be converging on this it's not the best situation to be in got a heavy here now at least at this point I've realized that I need to play it smart and not try to take on this heavy use my cover as best I can but there's just so many enemies at this point coming in that I don't really stand a chance. Like I said, the heavy suit, the heavy assault has a lot of hit points, but it just can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, an HMG heavy, not in close quarters. And that's basically where I've been playing this entire time, in close quarters, in their strength. I need to be skirmishing. I need to get an LEV. I need to go to other points and hack. I need to switch out my suit and try something different. But I'm not, and that's... A big problem. I just got so blinded by what I was trying to accomplish that I couldn't react. And that happens a lot at Dust. Being flexible, being able to react and switch it up is um, an important strategic skill to master. And when you do, you'll take, you know, you'll you'll die, you'll you'll take a loss, but then you'll react. You'll you'll look at the battlefield and you'll analyze where can I go? Where is the enemy not if they're strong? If they're weak, where can I mass? It helps if you have a squad that you can communicate with, that you can coordinate yourself. Um, but you can still apply a lot of those tactics individually. So at this point, you know, I have learned a little bit. I didn't come back into Charlie where the enemy was massing. I decided, okay, I'm going to start and go to Echo. But it's not the best circumstance to be in because I know the enemy, know the enemy knows that Echo is probably our next likely spot to spawn so I'm just kind of I've preempted the enemy by one step but not two steps I'm not thinking two or three steps ahead so one of the things there was that I didn't create distance I kept trying to engage that guy instead of backing out out of the room forcing him to come to me I kept going into his optimal range and that's problematic when when you know the enemy's strengths you need to play to your strengths force them to fight in their their weakness and i didn't do that at all i just kept switching out suits trying the same tactics over and over again and as you can see at least one of the enemy anticipated the fact that some of us would start to approach echo now the enemy's hacked charlie they're all going to start coming over here um I really, at this point, I need to get an LAV and I need to move, but I don't. I just keep trying to find fights that I uh, can't win, basically, and fight in the range that the enemy dictates, and in the circumstances that they dictate. So, I hope that analyzing uh, one of my losses has helped you identify perhaps some of the weaknesses that um, you can avoid yourself. As always, my name is Alton Hilt, and I will see you in the sandbox.